Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, URL rewriting demo. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, URL rewriting introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, I will explain the application which will work like this. Uh, here you can see the page. Uh, it has a name. And uh, suppose if you enter uh, the username here. And once you click on go, it will go to the Sarlet one. In Sarlet one, we will capture that uh, particular user, and that user we will open to the URL of the next resource. Okay, so here you can see the visit link. So in that link, uh, we will uh, open the uh, user who has uh, entered in this page. Okay, then suppose uh, the user click on this visit, uh, the request will go to the Sarlet two. Uh, in Sarlet two, we can identify. Okay, the request is coming from the same user in that way uh, we can track the particular user okay and uh, i will explain uh, uh, this example by showing some uh, sample code uh, we will see next okay uh, to explain url rewriting i have created the project called uh, url rewriting demo uh, in this project uh, in web.xml i have configured uh, two servlets okay and uh, url pattern of uh, first servlet is uh, servlet 1 and URL pattern of uh, second servlet is uh, servlet 2. First, we will see uh, first servlet.java. So, this uh, first servlet which extends HTTP servlet and it has uh, init method. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet. And in do get method of uh, this first servlet, what I am doing is uh, I am getting the username from the request parameter and that username I am printing here. Uh, that username I am appending to the next resource uh, URL. In this case, uh, next resource is servlet2. Okay. So once uh, user click this uh, visit link, uh, the request goes to the servlet2, and uh, using this uh, appended uh, username, we can track the particular uh, user. Okay. And uh, the last method is uh, destroy. Uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to remove this uh, servlet from the uh, servlet container. Okay. Uh, once the user click on this uh, visit link, uh, the request goes to the second servlet. Uh, in second servlet, uh, what I am doing is, uh, I am getting the username from the request parameter and uh, just displaying there. Okay. And I will deploy this application uh, in Tomcat, uh, then I will show you the output. Uh, first build this project. And export this project as a war file and place inside the tomcat web apps folder clicking on finish then i am starting the server server has been uh, started uh, now i am going to access the web application using this uh, url i am clicking on enter and it is displaying uh, index.html page uh, this is the welcome page uh, this index.html has a text box and uh, name is uh, username and it has uh, one button called uh, go when you click this button uh, the request goes to the server and the action is uh, servlet1 uh, before i enter name and click on go uh, first i will enable uh, developer toolbar i am entering name as uh, ram clicking on go so here you can see the result and if you see the response uh, the unique uh, identifier which is nothing but the username that is appended to the uh, next resource uh, URL okay and if I click this uh, visit link uh, the request goes to the second servlet and in the second servlet, I am getting the username and displaying here. Okay. Uh, so by appending a unique identifier to the next resource of the URL, uh, we can easily track from which user uh, the request is coming. Okay. And uh, this is about uh, URL rewriting demo. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.